Good morning, Atlanta. I'm Gary Hall, Channel 25 Action News here at the 5th Annual TED Expo with an exciting call from Vision of Air. Let's run for the program. Here, with me is Dr. Haney from the National Federation of the Blind. So, Dr. Haney, what's the purpose of the program? But can you give us a brief introduction to the system? As you know, Tori, Braille is a system of raised dots that allows the blind to read and write tactfully. Named for its inventor, Louis Braille, the Braille code is a universally accepted method of reading and writing for the blind. So how do the blind and visually impaired learn the Braille characters? That's the problem today, Tori. The Braille literacy crisis found that shockingly 90% of blind students are not being taught to read and write Braille. Can you explain to our viewers the importance of the first 26 Braille characters? From the video of Grade 1 Braille in one lesson, we learned that the Braille alphabet is made up of 26 different combinations of the Braille 6 cell. Each combination of dots represents a letter in the alphabet. My colleague, Garrick Scott, president of the National Federation of the Blind in Georgia, is excited about a new product, the InstaBraille, that teaches these basic characters. Thank you, Dr. Haney. It sounds like we may have a solution to this literacy crisis. Back to you. Thanks, Tori. Now let's join Dan Shaw, who is on location with a family directly impacted by this educational crisis. Good afternoon, Dan. Good afternoon, Garrick. With me is Henry Lott and his son, Christian. So, Mr. Lott, I understand your son is visually impaired. Can you tell us a little about his impairment? Christian developed diabetic retinopathy, a condition rare in children that left him completely blind in both eyes. So, Christian, how have you been learning to read? It's been difficult finding a teacher who is willing to teach me. We have tried lots, lots of other things. things. We have tried punch cards, ping pong balls and egg cards, songs, and magnetic letters. So, can you read it all yet? No, sir, not yet, but I'm still trying. Each of the things we've tried require me to help Christian. Since I'm not familiar with Braille, it's been difficult helping Christian learn Braille. We are hopeful, however, because Annie Maxwell, a teacher at the Center for the Visually Impaired, is excited about a new product, the InstaBraille. Christian, have you tried the InstaBraille? I've already learned the Braille characters, A through J, all by myself. InstaBraille is fun, and I don't need any help. We took the InstaBraille to my star's friends, and they're using it to read Braille, too. Wow, great job, Christian. InstaBraille sounds like it's really changing the way you learn. Back to you, Garrett. Next, let's join Dusty in Silicon Valley, who is on site at his Braille headquarters. Dusty? Thanks, Garrett. I'm excited to be here with Daniel Port, the lead engineer on the InstaBraille project. So, Mr. Port, can you give us a little history of the InstaBraille? The InstaBraille engineer can wear shock when we learned that 90% of blind children do not read Braille. We asked ourselves, how can we improve the way that people learn prayer? To answer this question, we took a look at the technology used in recording greeting cards. We discussed using multiple cards to teach Braille, but this was too cumbersome. So after the greeting card, what direction did your research take? We took this sound book apart to see if the technology could be used to teach Braille. My team learned that the recorded sound is stored here until the button is pushed. When the button is pushed, the sound is retrieved to complete the, the speaker. Using this knowledge, we have first engineered the sound module and came up with the concept of the InstaBraille. Dun, dun, dun! Can you explain to our viewers how the InstaBraille works? A person who, a person who is visually impaired can feel a Braille character then press the button to hear the name of the letter. The repetition of the first 26 Braille characters can be easily memorized by both adults and children. Last year, we finished the prototype of the InstaBraille 2.0 that teaches words, numbers, along with letters. Thanks, Dan. It sounds like the InstaBraille is going to be revolutionary to the vision of parent community. Back to here. Thanks, Dusty. I agree. The InstaBraille can definitely improve the life of the blind and the brown. Last year, we met a new friend, Timothy Johns. He lives right here in Metro Atlanta. At 20 years old, Timothy is a high school graduate and a student at Mercy University. Timothy has been playing the piano since he was two and performed his first concert at age six. Timothy has won many local, state, and nationwide music competitions, but his favorite game is playing and singing at his local senior center. Friends, Timothy has been blind since birth. Timothy is atypical. 50% of students who are blind drop out of high school. 70% of adults who are blind are unemployed. So you're probably wondering, what's the reason for such bleak statistics? Well, it's mainly because 90% of blind students are not being taught to read and write Braille. Our friend Timothy wanted to read and write music, so he put the time and effort into learning Braille. Folks, unlike many blind adults, Timothy is highly literate. 
literacy, reader work, is the foundation for a lifetime of success. Only 10% of America's blind students learn to read and write. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a real literacy crisis in our country, and 700,000 innocent children are its victims. It's shocking to think that only 7,000 of these children will learn to read and write by the time they become adults. The reasons for this crisis shocked us. First, there are not enough Braille training Braille teachers in America today. In addition, there are not enough Braille training programs for teachers. In addition, or surprisingly, many families believe that there is a stigma associated with a Braille reader. And finally, others are treating blind, blind kids out of reading and writing Braille with technology. Last year, we met an amazing little boy, Mason. He can use a Braille faster than I can type. It was not easy for Timothy to learn Braille. From the beginning of his educational career, his mom has been his advocate and insisted that he learn Braille. The Braille code is made up of a combination of the Braille six up. The first 64 combinations make up the foundation for contracted and uncontracted Braille necessary for basic literacy. Last spring, our team started the Integral Project and raised $10,000 in 30 days of crowdfunding. In June, we were awarded with the X Prize $5,000 Global Innovation Award for the uniqueness of our device. As finalists, we showcased the Integral at the Young Inventor Center at the U.S. Patent Trademark Office. Upon an invitation from the National Braille Press, we are competing for the annual Touch of Genius Award. Dean Kamen, the founder of FIRST for Science and Technology, showed the Instagram at a studio founders event this month. The Stars kids down in Atlanta, Georgia, have been using the Instagram to learn Braille since last winter. Our team was featured at the Georgia Vision Educators statewide training in making. The event was very successful for the Instagram, and we got 24 teachers to try out the Instagram with their students. Although our team has received a lot of recognition, I, the thing I'm most proud of and excited about is knowing that a student is truly impacted from the Instagram. I've seen the joy coming from students who have been using it, and they said it's awesome. This month, we began production of the prototypes. We are building the cases and circuit boards ourselves using our 3D printer, various electronic components, a microcontroller, and professionally recorded voice files. We plan on distributing the completed prototypes to teachers of the blind over the next two months. Their feedback will be used to create the Instabrow 3.0. We need to spread the word about the Instabrow project, and all of you can help by taking handfuls, bagfuls, or carfuls of our information and handing them out to all your friends and relations. Our team loves to present our project. Schedules to speak at your civic group, party, church, office, wedding, well, maybe not weddings, but anywhere people are, wish you all could present their project. We need your help to identify blind and visually impaired adults and children in your community. Send us their names and we'll send them a free Instabrail. We love to show people how we build our Instabrail prototypes. Our goal is to promote the Instabrail, but also to promote awareness to the Braille literacy crisis. Arrange for us to set up our production booth at any public place like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Turner Field, Phillips Arena, schools, libraries, bathrooms. Can we do bathrooms? Anyway, no <laughs> venue is too big or too small. over the last 15 months. We've had a lot of fun, but the Instabrow project has also been a lot of work. We all want to continue working on the Instabrow, so we ask you to partner with us, the next generation of inventors, engineers, and entrepreneurs to promote literacy in your community, our nation, and the world. Thank you.